Hi everyone, this is YML and welcome to the fifth part in the object detection series. In this video, we are going to study the You Only Loop Once or YOLO in short architecture, which has become one of the most, if not the most popular architecture in object detection. Also, it is one of my personal favorites due to its simplicity, low latency and high performance on many object detection datasets. If you haven't already, please watch the previous videos in the series. I promise you that the content of this video will make much more sense if you do that. So what's new in this architecture? Well, until this point, all the models we have talked about approach the object detection task in a two steps manner. One, you have some kind of algorithm that proposes some regions and two, you use a classifier to see if there is an actual object in each region and if so, what kind of object. Thus, we have to look twice at the image, while in YOLO those two steps are collapsed in a single step, trying to predict both the bounding boxes and their class at the same time. To achieve that, we use multiple convolutional layers, resulting in a n by n by c tensor at the output. The first two dimensions can be projected back into a grid in the original image, and for each cell, we have multiple anchor predictions represented by the channel dimension. The values in each anchor are interpreted as follows. The first value is the probability of this anchor to contain an object. The following four values represent the bounding box of the object. And the following n values are the one hat encodings of the classes we are trying to predict. And that's basically it. We stake those anchors in the channel dimension and train the model to predict them. The loss function we employ looks something like this. If we have an object in the cell, we use all the values in the corresponding anchor to compute the loss and if we don't, we use only the first value of the anchor and we don't care about the rest. The model can predict whatever it wants there. Also, we have said that we have multiple anchors for a cell. so. If we have an object there, how do we agree in which anchor to put the corresponding labels? We can't put them in a random anchor because this will most likely confuse the model and reduce the final performance. What we do instead is to predefine some bounding boxes that match the objects we want to detect. And for the sake of example, let's say that in the first anchor we want to detect person-like bounding boxes and in the second one, car-like bounding boxes. So the corresponding predefined bounding boxes would look something like that. Thus, now when we want to see in which anchor to put the labels, we simply compute the intersection over union between each of the predefined anchor bounding boxes and the object bounding box, assigning the labels to the anchor that obtained the highest IO score. Another aspect of the YOLO architecture I would like to discuss is what happens during inference. We take an image, we run the model on that image and obtain multiple predictions in each cell, one for each anchor that we employed. Now, we remove the prediction that have a low probability and on what's left, we apply the non-maximum suppression algorithm to remove the bounding boxes that have a high intersection over union with the bounding boxes that have the highest probabilities. Finally, it goes without saying that the YOLO architecture comes with its own drawbacks. For instance, it sacrifices localization accuracy for speed, so the resulting bounding boxes might not precisely fit the objects. Also, due to the fixed number of anchors in the output, you have a limited amount of objects you can detect in each grid cell. Thus, multiple versions of YOLO have appeared in the recent years, each one trying to address one or multiple limitations of the original architecture. The latest one, at the time of recording this video, being YOLO A. This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe to be up to date with the incoming videos in the series. See you next time. Bye bye.